Hey, Shelly, it's Shannon with Classy and Sassy Digital Marketing. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. I really enjoyed our conversation. I just wanted to shoot you over this quick little video to go over some of the things that I spoke about. Um, so this is Google. As you can see, I just typed in Realtor Roseburg, Oregon. This is what we call the map pack or the map section of Google. Down here is what we call organic listings. Ultimately, you want to aim to be in this map pack. And that's because 30 to 40% of traffic directly to your site or people giving you a call will come from you. So some tips I have for doing a Google business profile is to, for one, make sure you're getting good reviews consistently and responding to those reviews. Make sure your business name, address, phone numbers, hours are the same all across the internet, whether it's on a Facebook page, Instagram, or even LinkedIn, for example. And you can actually link those back to a Google business profile. And then there's a section here. It's what we call the about section. It allows for 750 characters. You want to make sure that this is completely filled out and optimized with keywords. I also suggest posting branded and geotagged photos here weekly. And then citations. So citation is anywhere your business name, number, and address are shown exactly as per your Google business profile. These are then placed in various directories such as Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Yellow Pages. There's thousands of these directories that you can list your business in. Google is a huge popularity contest, so you want to go and give your information out to as many people as possible. The idea is that these begin to add up, creating your online presence, allowing you to be seen more often by both people and Google. Once Google starts seeing you more than these competitors, the more likely they are to rank you above them. So when it comes to a website, Google likes to see anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 words, just depending on the competition and the number of keywords. The keyword is anything someone might type into Google looking for a particular service or product. Google likes information. So in that content, you can strategically place keywords to tell Google exactly what terms you want your website to be put in front of when people are searching for it. Any pictures and videos, they can be considered content as well. So I would highly recommend seeing those as a keyword. So I pulled up a competitor site. They have a good looking site. Um, one thing, even though they are first place on Google, and I would recommend them doing a phone number that's a click to call somewhere up on top, um, helps with quick conversions. They have their listings. So they do have some content, mainly pictures. And I inserted their site into a tool that we call Eris. This gives us a basic analytic view of a site. Um, it kind of shows us, you know, what we need to do to outrank them. So the UR and the DR is the strength and trust you have with Google. Anywhere between 30 and 40 is considered a strong site. Right now, this particular company has 114 backlinks coming from 21 referring domains. Now, a backlink is anywhere you find one website linking to another via clickable text. And these links act like endorsements for a site coming from others. But not all backlinks are created equal. Some are spammy and some are more authority. So you go after backlinks that are authoritative and related to the niche you're in. That's going to send power to your site and boost your strength. They're currently indexing for 60 keywords and they're getting 95 hits to their site a month. Let's take a look at their keywords. So it looks like people are searching for them in particular. We've got EXP, Realty. Uncle Oregon Real Estate, 20 searches a month. We have a lot of different ones on here. Okay. I mean, they've got G styles on those. So they're number one, but they've got some kind of lovely um, keywords. Let's go here. I've got some keywords that I've done. Homes for sale, Ro Roseburg, Oregon. It's over a thousand searches a month. Real estate, Roseburg, Oregon. You 
it's over a thousand searches a month. Um, so there is a lot of volume. Brunswick, Oregon real estate, 450 searches a month. So these are examples of some keywords you would want to put in your Google business profile, on your website, that sort of thing. So Shelly, I hope this video helped explain a little bit more of what I was talking about. I definitely look forward to talking to you more. Have a great day.